of hate and opinions in the comments, or anywhere really. And I mean a lot of hate. But hey, you clicked on this video, and I ran through three tests to see which game was better based on them. This is Rocket Soccer Derby versus Turbo League. Also, real quick, I just want to thank you, Crazy Abro, for making this cool banner for me, for my channel, and I I appreciate everything you do for me, and you should go sub to him, and make sure you also subscribe to me for more content. Anyways, let's get into the video. Now this itself is a very opinion based question. I tried to be as fair as possible in the three tests I conducted, which I will tell you now. Test number one, gameplay. Number two, freestyling. Number three, similarities to Rocket League. Gameplay is going to Turbo League, and here is why. The bots seem fairly similar to RSD bots, but I don't know what it is but Turbo League bots are just a bit better and the online mode is certainly better than RSD with cross-region play being a thing. It also has replays, which is really good for making montages, replays, etc. And with that, Turbo League takes the first test. Now, on to freestyling. Here are some examples of hard shots in Rocket Soccer Derby. And here's an example of another day at the office for Turbo League. Pretty different, right? Yes. In Rocket Soccer Derby, you can flip, and flipping is essential to hitting freestyle shots like in Rocket League, like a musty double tap or just a musty. Whilst in Turbo League, you can't flip at all. But Turbo League players have told me that they have their own way of flipping, but I'm not taking that way in account as it is not naturally in the game's code. And with that, Rocket Soccer Derby takes freestyling. Now, I know you're totally disagreeing or disappointed with me, but we all have our own personal opinions, okay? And I'm trying not to put opinions up in here, but anyways, let's get on to our final test to see which game is truly the better game. By the way, I decided to change the test from similarities to Rocket League to advantages and disadvantages. Anyways, let's get started with Turbo League. Uh, it has four maps as opposed to RSD's 2, which is just a day and night version of the same map. Turbo League also has a replay system, like I said before, which is very useful for examining replays, making montages, etc. It has a great multiplayer system with customizable control layouts, car design, camera settings, etc. Lastly, Turbo League has air roll, or gyro as they call it. Now let's take a look at some of Turbo League's disadvantages. First of all, you can't flip, you have to pay for some cars. Boost costs credit to buy. More of freestyling is just a bit overboard, not gonna lie. When you score a goal, an explosion sound will play and break your eardrums if you play at a high volume. <laughs> now let's look at RSD's advantages. Sorry if I missed any advantages or disadvantages that Turbo League has. Number one, you can flip. The freestyling is pretty similar to RL. The ball physics in both games are very similar to Rocket League, but Turbo League's ball is just a bit too lightweight. The dribbling in RSD is more similar to Rocket League as the ball is on the nose of your car as opposed to Turbo League, which has the ball in front of your car. 
Now Turbo League might have a lot of car customizations, but they don't have as much accessories like hats, boosters, bumpers, etc. Lastly, of course, you don't have to buy a boost. Now for the disadvantages of Rocket Soccer Derby. You can't air roll, you can't flip reset. Bars are not a fixed shape, which means their shape will change if you bump into something or bump into a car or the goalpost. Multiplayer servers are very laggy and buggy, as you've seen in some of my most recent in some of my recent videos where I play online with some of my friends or just online in general. There is no cross-region play, which means you have to use either a VPN or you can't play with your friends at all if they're in a different country or a region. Like for example, I'm in I'm in Asia and and I want to play with a friend that lives in America. And since there's no cross-region play, I can't play with them. So I end up using VPN, which is very useful at some time. If you want to use one, I recommend Tunnel Down. Next disadvantage for Rocket Soccer Derby um, bots are very predictable after playing with them after a while, as they don't change in playstyle at, at all. They ball chase, they're basically a ball chaser. Lastly, you can't 1v1 or 2v2 a random online, and you, you can only 3v3, and most of the players are likely bots. That is it for the test of disadvantages and advantages. And with that, the ultimate winner for this test is... Is up to you. Listen, I know you're probably disappointed right now and probably also leaving a dislike on this video, but hey, listen, okay? I gave you most of the information to conclude which game is better, and there is no perfect world where everyone has this exact same opinion. There will always be a difference. So, what game do you think is better? Let me know in the comments, and thank you for watching this video.